story, Dark Man, please. <laughs> Yay! Yeah. There's too much light. My blessed mess forsaken. These fairy tales are much too big to tell. Let's try a lifeless dream. A grumbly calcraft and dark to make them grim. That's my hallmark. My guts fill up with pretty tales. Their pretty cuteness never fails to make me peel. To lose my wits, cut my teeth and give me fits. Now the rancid, stale and foul despise the happy ending. Gross and nasty make me howl, though they may be offending. I care to make true tales of light. Disobedient child recklessly jeopardizes the lives of countless innocents for the sake of a toy and is rewarded. We know we're upside down in fairyland. Do even dribbling dreamers desire such a place? The forest has been off limits for years. Now, an ambitious huntsman claims that he can bag the homicidal maniac who lives there and render the woods safe for decent people. Fear is a complete stranger to me, my friend. I have discovered the fiend's lair. Bring pails and some rope. We'll expose the monster. Well demanded, son. But reasonable questions find few answers in fairy tales. He's resting, cramps, etc. And he's afraid of pails. No oh, bollocks, just pale. They find the fiend and dub him Iron John. Well, why not? Looks more like that creaky, heartless tin head from Ozland to me, but who cares? They lead him back to the castle without a fuss. Strange what passes for monstrous. This cage once held Mama's favorite woolly mammoth. It will be sufficient for Iron John. Oh, joy! To frolic in the forest without being eaten, and our native witches can get on with their incantations, spells, and satanic rituals. The brute is impotent. The prince can play beside this erstwhile child killer. Let no one open the cage, on pain of death. Take the key, my dear. But as all trivial pursuits are ripe occasions for disaster in Grimm, the prince's golden ball rolls into the cage. Give me my ball, please, Iron John. Unlocking closure to commence spherical item transfer routine. No, I mustn't. The king has forbidden it. Conditions to initiate transfer protocol not met. Request rejected. Request rejected. Beep, beep, beep. Stop data transfer. Beep. Oh, cruel Iron John. For three days running, the prince returns and asks for his ball. Each time, Iron John denies him, so to speak. But on the fourth day, the boy takes a new tack. I could not open the door even if I wished to, for I don't have the key. Retrieve device from female relative's sleeping quarters. Quick as boiled asparagus, the boy brings the key and opens the door. Oh, Iron John, take me, or I shall be beaten. Beaten does not compute. Exoskeleton useless. Intelligence negligible. Opposable thumbs may have value. Come. When the king and queen find an empty cage and their son gone, they guess what has happened, and much grief reigns in the royal court. Stupidity does not preclude sadness. Back at his forest hideaway, Iron John orders the prince to let nothing fall into his well. But the careless lad has already touched the water with his hand, and a stray hair has wafted in too. Both have turned to gold. Error, error, error. Systematic failure detected. 
after the malfunction equals termination. Beep, beep, beep. Terms of final morning breach. Adios. It was an accident. It wasn't my fault. My mother should have cut my hair. Cease. Failure not fatal. Return for upgrades or assistance. Exit. The prince wanders aimlessly and then finds work at the palace. First in the kitchen and then as a gardener. After some years, his appearance earned him the notice of the royal princess. But nothing really happens until a war begins. I am grown up and must go to war, but not with this nag. I am John. I am John. I am John. Fully functional, fully featured equine quadruped provided. Additional options available separately. I am John. I am John. I am John. Audio receiver operational. Speak. Take back your war horse and your troops, and give me back my lame nag. All that he asks is done, and soon he's riding home on his three-legged horse, happy as a clam. An unknown knight carries the victory for us. I proclaim a feast. The princess shall throw out his three golden apples. Perhaps the unknown hero will come to catch them. <laughs> Don't expect logic from a king. When he hears about the feast, the prince calls on Iron John and asks to catch the princess's golden apples. And Iron John says, Data transmitted, Texan, affirmative. And each day, the prince, in sumptuous armor, catches the apple and promptly rides away. <laughs> Is this naughty light? He won't tolerate it. He must appear before me. Pursue him, and if necessary, stab him. Like I said, logic. <laughs> During the chase, the prince is wounded and loses his helmet, exposing his golden hair. And the princess recognizes him as the gardener's helper. I know who the shy warrior is, and I want to marry him post haste. Arrange a wedding. Are you the one who caught the golden apples? Yes, and I am the knight who helped you conquer your enemies. I owe you thanks, and as it pleases my daughter, you may take her to wife. Not standing on ceremony and long engagements, the deed is done. The prince's parents attend the wedding. How they found out about the nuptials, who knows? Telepathy? Smoke signal? Coded message? Carrier pigeon? Invisible ink? Telegraphy? Message in a gum wrapper. TV! No bloody idea. I'm called Iron John, and was as I was on account of an enchantment. But you have set me free from the curse. All the royal treasures I possess shall be yours. Well, there you have it. The ridiculous eclipsed by the incredible. Enchanted? By whom? For what reason? Cursed to be filthy rich and magically potent? And how did the prince set him free from this miserable estate? Not relevant, evidently. They all live happily ever after, I'm sure. Well, they would, wouldn't they? Nonsense comes in many flavors. Do I detect a whiff of camel dung? A murderous fiend terrorizes the surrounding woods. And nobody gives a horse's patoot. No paralyzing fear. No raging anger. This situation demands panic and desperate resolve. Get it? Make it stinky. Let's grim it. Now this is looking good. 
good. It makes sure enough blood will flow freely. The wild thing, a.k.a. Iron John, is lurking in a pond. Good choice for a toad. For a mammal, not so much. The pathetic plan to expose him will take all week. Let's give them more than a hand. Make it rotten. for naught. <laughs> oh, and he's metal. Now the man of steel, not, has been set free. No, they capture him and take him away. Speaking of, I better be off myself before those kiddies' parents show up in a snit. Very hot items, these golden bowls. Fairy tale royals love them. Iron John's caged in the courtyard. But where's security for this cold blooded killer and the signs of his struggle? As for the prince, let's take that grin off the brat's pie face. Make it gross. Let's kill the clean. Sausage fest!
Rashly approaches the cage. He's snatched and forced to release the steel creature. Make it nasty. turned his fingers gold. This is preposterous. His failure has to put Midas himself to shame. We should gild this lily. Make it nasty. It's grim time. Super speed! Whatever I detected now. Super speed! Now! Gross. Now! I! Now! to this thing. Woohoo! We're coming up above the mirror! 
it disgusting. Stomp it! Ow! Who's repulsive? Oh, hey! Hold up there, metal man! The boy did bad and turned everything to gold! Ha! Our little prince goes to Uncle Iron John and requests an army to defeat his king's enemy. Can a three-legged horse still carry a person? Their journey should be more miserable. Make it rotten. Let's grim it! A good old-fashioned war on a massive scale to settle a dispute. I like it. But why is nobody dying? Why is everybody smiling? What are the eviscerations, heck limbs, decapitations? War is more than heck. Can robots lick the dogs of war? Make it repulsive.
whole lot of terminate going on. Well, this is a new house, sweet and house. The one that gets us could be even properly inserted into our fairy tale battle. Most of this is For reasons unexplained, the prince is treated like a crusading potentate by Iron John, and he wears armored costumes to impress the princess. Make it rotten. Make a mess. Get the apples. They're just a metaphor, a sideshow. A contest with a big, nasty weapon is more likely. The prince gets a new swish outfit and he enters the joust. Make it disgusting. Dropping, stomping, butt kicking good. Major butt in archery and jousting, he manages to win the sword tournament too. The fix is in. Look at him. Make it putrid. Chomp and stump.
after defeating the final metal foe, he runs back to... Well, you know. Do I have to say it? Another quickie wedding. Jeez. Matrimony is said to be an honorable estate when not taken in hand unadvisedly or wantonly to satisfy carnal lust and appetite like a brute beast. So what should you call this sordid affair? Hmm? Make it disgusting. Charge! I'm starting to like the probe. Not that there's anything wrong with that. This is getting tedious, isn't it? Make it disgusting. Families at the same table. Awkward! I'm hoping way before dessert, insults real or imagined are traded, and the facade of propriety disintegrates into a name calling knockdown knife fight! Well, I can dream, can't I? Make it vile!
pristine as a cockroach on toast. This machine. I'm not sure whose side I'm on. I'm just glad the wedding's ruined! <laughs> Any cake going? No! This at least makes sense. An indiscriminate, insatiable man-eater on the loose, and the populace shuffling about like somnambulists, wondering which of them will be his next meal. Or snack. Can you whisper abject fear? <laughs> the villagers have a right to be frightened, I suppose, but I've seen zombies with more joie de vivre than these petrified mopes. I spit upon fear, my friend. And the fiend, too. Let the best of you follow me. Capturing him is worth any sacrifice. Ah, you know the type. He means any sacrifice others will make. He's just there to pick up the pieces. Expose yourself, my friends. Don't fear the light. It doesn't hurt too much. Those men are to stun. What can light do? <laughs> He'll soon exhaust his resources, whatever they are. Many of those who came to bail water are reduced to cinders and ash by the light. Their leader has exposed himself behind a boulder. Ah, I knew it! It's out of firepower! Wrap the iron thing in cables and drag him out! The deranged automaton is a nice touch. Eliminates the how does it breathe underwater query. Don't approach the cage except to feed him. He likes to play with his grub. It don't like to play with him, of course. <laughs> Too bad for them. Recycling the local riffraff reduces the criminal population and keeps the thing happy. Yoo-hoo! Friends, why not play a bit closer to the cage? He's mostly harmless now. You have something of mine. Give it me back! I don't throw balls. Come inside so I may hand it to you. A characteristically poor decision by the prince. But there's no tale at all without it. I give you a simple job and you make a hash of it. You did the one thing I told you not to do. Your next failure will be your last. But my hand hurt and I just touched the water lightly. Plus I saw... Enough! I have hunters to kill, and children to eat, and technology to tame. I can't supervise you too. That's it. You're terminated. Get out. Make me believe you're not an incompetent waste of space and protoplasm. Some lackey at the royal palace took pity on the hapless prince and gave him a job as a scullery boy. After many years in the kitchen, the prince's ambition kicks in. And ill-prepared and ill-equipped, he goes to war. If I'm to be a knight, I must have a horse. 
my kitchen for a horse. The prince showed little initiative or skill in his youth. We're not surprised that his later years are similarly uninspired. It will be difficult, but not impossible, to win a heroic victory with this steed. Hmm, this forest looks familiar. I've been here before. But oh, such strange weapons and odd enemies too. Hmm, this fight is not all about me. Am I the instrument of a grander plan? The tool of a brilliant strategic mind? The agent of a stronger, higher power? Don't make me regret saving you, Sarah S. Get to work! There's killing to do! Oh yeah! Here comes the good stuff! Weird, I'll admit, but good! My powers are extraordinary! I'm unbeatable! Incomparable! Wait, there's something happening here, but I don't know what it is. I'm not my own man! No kidding. When he said he was a tool, he got it just right. The winner of the contest must marry my daughter. I really, really like your colored armor. It's super hot. Let's dance. Who wouldn't run away from this? But the prince is captured in the end. The wedding date is fixed. The stupid wedding is unavoidable, but the outcome, not inevitable. Son-in-law, you'll make a fine addition to my retinue. You'll live here with my daughter and me. He won't. You'll live with his true parents. Our kingdom and army has missed him these many years. You are both unworthy and befouled pretenders. You must pay. I will separate the deserving wheat from the despicable chaff. Prince Kana has lifted the curse that was on me. He will be my heir. Prince Kana's not that impressive. Perhaps Iron John like the kid's smile. All powerful doesn't mean all smart, evidently. May all our stories end so well. <laughs> Until next time.